So I have a customer in the store with a painting that he says is painted by Rene Magritte. This thing actually might be real. So I've called in my art guy. I'm going to have him take a look. And uh, I got my fingers crossed. Chad, hey, how's it going? Right? Good to see you, sir. Here we go. Wow. Rene Magritte. It's an amazing painting, first off. Rene Magritte was one of the founders of the surrealist movement, like Dolly. Very dreamlike, very weird. He's from Belgium. From there, he went to Paris. You know, it was the 20s in the Paris. This is the place to be. He hooks up with Picasso. At that point, he's not doing very well at all. He starts doing a lot of knockoffs. He knocks off Picasso. Forgeries. That's a nice word. All right, forgeries. <laughs> he knocks off mainly Picasso. So there's a lot of people in the world with a Picasso that's fake, but it's a real Marguerite. Okay. Which is ironic because really hmm. they're very similar. <laughs> the, the, the price structure now is very, very close. So how do you feel about it? It looks very good. This is a very early painting. You can tell just by the smoke damage that's on it. Very typical of that time, everybody smoked. This hung for a very long time somewhere. The painting style is very, very him. The signature is perfect, but it's always a risk. Forgers aren't stupid. So what do you think? The bad news is my opinion means nothing. The only opinion that matters is the Rene Magritte Committee in Belgium. You have to take it unframed to Belgium, but you have to get the authentication. So what's it worth? So this painting has two states of being. One state of being, it's worth nothing. The other state of being, this is a seven, dollars $800,000 painting. But the market is moving very, very quickly. A piece that was worth $800,000 20 years ago is worth $3.8 million now. Cool. Thanks, man. Hey, thanks a lot. It's Appreciate beautiful. It. It's beautiful. Thanks. OK, so we have a little bit of a conundrum here. Yeah. All right, there's a few different things I could do for you. I'll give you 10 grand, and I'll take all the risks. Or I will spend all my money, and I'll take it to Belgium, I'll do everything for it, and if it turns out it's real, I'll give you 400 grand. Oh, that's a really tough choice. I'm straight up gambling here, and if it's fake, I lose all the money. I think I'll do the 10 grand. We got a deal. Thanks. I'll meet you right over there, we'll do some paperwork. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. I hope I didn't screw up. I ended up buying a Rene Magritte. I'm 99% sure it's real. So, um, you know, I shipped the Magritte painting to Belgium. So the Magritte Foundation received the painting. They have it. They're looking at it. They have the final say. And if it's legit, it could be worth millions of dollars. And you know what? I can take you with me. And maybe maybe we can find some other business out there, too. If it's real, we should take a bath in Belgium chocolate. <laughs> Chum and I are here in Belgium, waiting on the verdict from the Magritte. Hopefully, they'll verify it as real. In the meantime, this is a high-end customer I got. I bought some stuff off him a few years ago. Now he's got some really cool furniture. While we're here, we gotta take a look. There's a Louis XVI backgammon table and a cabinet from 1691. The owner wants $825,000 for the two pieces. So there's a local expert that I got a hold of. He's gonna come down and help me out with this. Hello. Hey, how's Hello, it going? Guys. How are you? Good, how are you, David? Thanks. All right, so Michael here has some pretty amazing things. Yes, it's a great cabinet because you see on the top part the coat of arms of the French royal family. You see the fleur de lis. It's very rare. You will find pieces like this only in museums. So is there anything here to help you authenticate it? The way it is done. And if you have a closer look to all the details, you will see that everything was done by hand. It's not made with a machine. OK. So what do you think this would go for at auction? Thus, I would say it could go up to nearly 1 million uh, euros. OK. So $1.1 million. Yeah. All right, I'm impressed. What do you think of the table? It seems to be also a great piece. I think if we have a closer look, we can find the stamp of the cabinet maker. Ah, here it is, and it's J.H. Risner, which means it's the signature of the cabinet maker of Louis XVI during the second part of the 18th century. OK. What do you think this would go for at an auction? It's a super piece. It could go easily around 350,000 euros. It'd be like 385,000 American. Yes. OK. 
Well, thanks, David. I really, really appreciate it. My pleasure. Have a nice day. Bye. Thanks. Ah, it's a lot of money. What's the best price we could do? Well, Rick, after listening to your expert, I should increase my price, but I'm very fair, so I will keep on my original price with 825000 for both. All right. Um, so this right here, I think I have a customer right here in Europe that'll take this back at the table. I need to ship to Vegas, but it's gambling and I have the customer, so. All right, we got a deal. Congratulations. I'm very happy for you. All right, I'll get you paid. We'll get all the paperwork done, all right? Better Maybe hope that painting's real. Are you still gonna have enough for waffles? Trust me, we still have money for waffles. Might even get some chocolate, too. <laughs> <laughs> this is the moment you've been waiting for. I've been contacted by the Greek committee. They've come up with a decision. They've told me I could come and pick it up, along with the paperwork saying whether it's real or fake. This could go down in the annals of pawn shop history as the best buy ever. I'm gonna walk in there, and they're gonna tell me my painting is real. And then you're gonna give me some money? Uh, you know what? Bonus is all the way around. I like it, I like okay. it. That's if everything checks out. All right, let's do this. Your fingers aren't crossed. My toes are. And after this, can we go get the waffles? We'll get waffles. All right, celebration waffles coming soon. <laughs> I'll be back in a few minutes. Hold on, before you go, let me put some chum luck on you. All right. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's a good thing. All right, I'll let you know. Oh my god, that took forever. Is it real? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Ah, uh, there was like a clerk in there, and I showed him my ID. They hand me this. They hand me the, a letter. I'm gonna go sit down in the park and read this letter. Carry this. The business I'm in, you hear about somebody finding something amazing in their attic, going to a flea market and buying something. It turns out to be a fortune. All right, Rick, you ready to see what $10 million looks like one more time? All right. And I work in a business where that can definitely happen. Dear Richard Harrison, the committee met yesterday and is of the opinion that the work presented is not a work by Renee Marguerite. Thank you. So what do you think that means? That means it's not real. Well, I had my doubts, Rick. Would you like me to point them out to you? That's funny. It sucks losing $10,000, but it's been a great ride. And um, in my business, you gotta take risks sometimes. I took a risk, um, and uh, it didn't work out for me. I think I know how to cheer you up, though. And it's inside of a warm building. Okay, let's go. You ready? Yeah. It's been a pretty fun trip out here in Belgium. We've done a lot of stuff together. I'll give you 100 bucks for it. No. We have a moment of just quiet. Was that long enough? <laughs> <laughs>